first hole done! Let's go! Good morning! Day? Today is the day. I, uh, I might have been saying that for the last couple videos, but, but, like, genuinely, today, today's the day. What do you mean, Austin? Every, every day is the day. No, no, no. Today is the day because I have officially designed, programmed, and finagled my way into my first climbing hold that is ready for production. Not just, oh, one-off holds. No, 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 no. We're gonna put this behemoth to work. I'm going to batch out 14 climbing holds on one operation, which is actually only half of what this bed is gonna be capable of doing. But those 14 holds gives me 14 tries to make sure that I'm getting all the software programmed correctly and doing everything it's supposed to do. So that is the goal. We're gonna learn all of the things that can be learned, hopefully relatively harmlessly. He said somewhat optimistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and mill up one more board, cut these down to six inch lengths, start marking up and drilling and loading up the entire work bed of 14 holds. I'm gonna start in the middle. I learned from my prior crash that when you start in the lower right hand corner, you put at risk your bit setter. So for learning purposes, let's move towards the center of the machine where I don't have as much shit that I can crash into. Seems like a good idea, right? We've got them all cut up. We are firing up a CNC machine. Actually, I don't need the CNC yet. Uh, we got to load up our pegs. We got to load up the blocks. We got to break out an angle iron just to double check we are actually square every time we load this bad boy up. Let's go ahead and just start uh, vacuuming these things out, start adding in some dowel pins, and then uh, checking to see the fit on these guys, see how well they all work. Actually, I should check that real quick. It's pretty snug. Yes, they are snug. I do have, I have slightly oversized drill bits coming, but they will be in tomorrow and I am impatient and want my climbing holds now. I am an American. I deserve my goddamn climbing hold. Only took me a hot minute and a half, but I officially have 14 holds all loaded up. Gosh, you know, wow, I'm at it. Let's see how good my uh, my planning works. Here's my 3 8 roughing end mill. Ooh, buddy. Clearance is clearance, right? Ugh. That should be fine, right? Yeah, loads of clearance. Uh, we're gonna we're 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 gonna do it. We we gonna do it. Oh boy, that's just. I have both waves of excitement and dread at the exact same time. All right, we have ourselves a zero position set off of this dowel pin down here in the corner. Now it is time to load up my 3 8 inch roughing end mill and get ready to send it. Um, feel this uh, <laughs> wave of anxiety going through that I, I part of me doesn't feel like I should it's like no 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 it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine 100% it's gonna be fine absolutely you got this there's uh there's, there's nothing to be worried about the cam looked great the, the holds look 
look like they're gonna do the thing, everything. Everything's great, everything's fine. It's fine, I got it, I got it. Snug. That guy's chilling. This uh, doesn't matter. Uh, zero has been touched off. Resume. Hold, holds her both down. Um, ugh. I can't stress the wave of things. I don't know why I'm anxious. I have an e-stop. Don't stop, stop stressing. Stop stressing. It's not, it's not that big of a deal, right? Worst, worst case scenario, I, I, I smash into a hold and if we're being honest, it's just kind of par for the course with the way things have been going. So if you're overthinking it, you're overthinking it. Uh, the one, one caveat trick bit thing I might add is um, as this thing goes around hauling ass, uh, doing its machining, I might stop in between holds and just vacuum some stuff up. Or I might also just see just how much dust this thing can produce in one fell swoop. This is assuming I don't crash. I'm just, I'm over. Got it. I got this. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I only spent the last couple hours and several months building the machine, but it's going to be fine, right? It's going to be fine. Uh, it's about all she wrote. I don't, I don't have a whole hell of a lot else I can do other than turn on the ripums and let's, uh, let's hope this first one works out. I have 100% feed rate. Hey! We're successful so far. Uh, we have a slight issue and that is lifting of my fixture plate. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in some M5 bolts that I had. Got her bolted down. We're gonna go ahead and uh, fire back up. Get back to cutting. Woohoo! First haul done! Let's go! Check that shit out! shift so we're gonna we're gonna get in here this is trippy it's staying at the top let's uh play some archaeologist and try to dig out my gopro all right so i've modified the program so that way it will run from the roughing pass on tool no or not tool part seven which is basically where i left off carbide 3d if you guys could Set it so we can run from a specific line in the G-code. I mean, I get that that's not really a hobbyist thing because most of the hobbyists still don't understand what the G-code is, but for those of us that do, that last little detail in there would be, would be appreciated. Home stretch, people. Woo. One hour, 52 minutes for 14 holds. Should probably get my GoPro out of there. I'm gonna clean up. 
I realize there's a million different <laughs> volumes going on there. I'm gonna clean up the uh, overwhelming pile of dust at the present second, and then we're gonna try to clean off uh, the back side. I think there might be some dust locked back in there. Um, oh, no it's not. My chain just fell off behind the, the gantry. That's easy enough. I'll pull this thing forward, reinitialize, clean this guy up, and then we're gonna get started on the finish pass. Cool part about the finish pass? I have zero concern about that part crashing. All right, finish the pass. Woo! <laughs>